What's going on, my PT peeps? My walking dead family, my fighters. I'm one eyebrow, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about Fear the Walking Dead, and the end is the beginning. And what is that all about? Spoiler warning for Fear the Walking Dead, the Walking Dead comics, a little bit of all the shows, but spoiler warning for the Walking Dead universe. But the end is the beginning has come up a lot in the first half of Fear the Walking Dead season six. And I'm making this video before the mid-season finale, season six, episode seven, and hopefully get more answers about this phrase, this line, and this group. Well, season six, episode one introduced these two guys. The end is the beginning phrase. And we were like, what's it all about? And we still don't know. And that's all right. It doesn't have to be answered right away. It can build up maybe for the mid-season finale, maybe the second half of season six, but they kind of focused on the end. And we know it's the end. It's an extinction event. The end the walking dead. The walking dead universe is really the end of mankind. The survivors are trying to stay alive, but the end is the beginning could mean a lot of different things. It could mean the start of something new, the way it was back then, the way the world has ended, the way it is now. It could be a fresh start, a new beginning. It could also be about power. The end is the beginning. Once we take down them, their reign has ended. We can start taking things over. Who is they they're talking about? The end for who? Is it CRM? Is it Ginny? Is it something else? Now Morgan has the key to the submarine and how will that play out with things? Do we need another key? Is it going to be the key to launch the nuclear missiles or something else that I can't think of with the submarine? But the end is the beginning came up again with Althea and Dwight in the building that was connected with CRM. So I'm thinking that the end is the beginning people are connected with CRM as enemies. They are trying to take down CRM. And I'm guessing they didn't put the bubonic plague rats and really set up this trap and really bomb with the rats and disease by chance. I think the people found out about the CRM building from the helicopters flying around. They set up a trap with the rats and the bubonic plague and the disease to take down CRM. And it didn't work because CRM didn't really go inside the building. As far as we know, they just landed on top of the roof, but they had a bunch of Cipro that would fight the bubonic plague and other diseases. I believe it's a broad spectrum antibiotic Cipro. So that's pretty interesting. So I would assume there's some sort of connection there more, you know, with the rats and the disease and the antibiotics. And the fact that Sherry was around that building or she saw the flare at least, has me wondering if she's connected with the end is the beginning people. Now we talk about it a little bit in a video I posted yesterday or a couple days ago whenever you're watching this video, but did they set some things up with Sherry possibly being a villain on the show? Possibly being connected with the end is the beginning people? Not sure, we'll have to see how it unfolds, but I could see that happening because based on her comic story arc, how she goes after Rick and she leads the saviors and that could be coming to Fear the Walking Dead. Now we also saw the end is the beginning a couple times in season six, episode six. For some reason it was painted on a tree, that the tree was cut down and what is this all about? Why was it painted on the tree? The tree was cut down, maybe people saw it so then they try to get rid of it and there's a walker underneath it. I'm not really sure what's going on here. But we meet Paige, who looks a lot like Sarah, even though it's a different character. And Paige says to Ginny, Marcus, and Hill, it's not about you. It's not about any of you. It's about what you're building. It's about the future. And then she takes herself out. And then that's all we know. So we met Paige and the two guys, and we didn't really get much out of that. But then we see the end is the beginning and Tank Town. And how did they paint that there? Do they have a ladder? Do they stand on each other's shoulders and paint it on there? But who did this? Could it have been Wes? Is Wes connected with these people? Was he with these people before he was taken by our group and then taken by Jenny? We don't know, but he does have paint, so it makes you wonder. And again, we saw end is, so I wonder if they were highlighting the fact that that's the tank that blew and that's what caused June and Virginia to be knocked out. So that's what I got out of this by seeing it right here. But if you saw the opening for season six, episode seven, you know that Dakota is taken. She's in an SUV with Strand and you don't see this photo in it. This is a promo photo for season six, episode seven. So I'm guessing this guy took Dakota and the way Dakota and this guy are standing there, maybe looking at Alicia here, it's like they kind of are comfortable with each other. Dakota's not trying to run away. She's not trying to really get away from this guy. Maybe she knows it's not gonna work or maybe she knows him. But somehow, some way, Alicia gets into this building connected with Mr. Taxidermy Guy who's putting antlers and horns on walkers and changing out their eyes with, I believe, deer eyes or something. But I just can't wait to see how it goes down and I wonder if this guy is connected with the end as the beginning people. 
Now let's talk about the submarine, right? Is the submarine going to be used against CRM, Ginny, something big, something small? Is it just gonna be a dud? And what's the plan for this submarine? Morgan has the key now, and I don't know if anybody else knows about the key besides the two guys that Morgan took out, but Morgan has the power of the key. But what do you make of it? I just hope we get answers in the mid-season finale, season six, episode seven, and I'm not sure if we get eight or nine episodes in the back half of season six, but season six, episode seven is supposedly great, awesome, setting things up, big things happen in the mid-season finale, mini cliffhanger is what some reviewers are saying. Can't wait to see what this is all about, but let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Stay safe and tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love you guys.